In this video, we're going to talk about variables in Python. And specifically, we're going to talk about some of the differences in Python in terms of how you create a variable. And there are some differences. So again, we'll talk about those. Now, the first thing you should do is open up PyCharm. And what we're going to do is go down to this Scratches and Console, and I want you to go create a new Scratch file. And we're going to make a Python file. And then you'll get this new window up here. So you will remember in my Java series, if you took that, you will remember that before every variable, you need to declare a data type. That is not necessary in Python. That's really the huge, huge difference. You don't have to declare a data type. So you will remember in Java, if we wanted to declare an int variable, we would have to type out int. If we wanted a string variable, we would have to type out a string. And once again, we don't have to do that. So you can simply just name the variable. And in this case, we'll just call it x. And then you can assign a value. So let's go ahead and make this a string variable. So we'll just create a name here. We'll call this mark. And that's it. That's all you need to do. We don't have to put a string before this. We can just simply name it and then assign it a value. And then the variable is created once we assign a value to it. Now, the other big difference is if you remember in Java, we had to put a semicolon here to end the statement. That is not necessary in Python. So we can simply go to the next line. You are not required to put a semicolon to end the statement. And so this is why a lot of developers like Python. They don't have to declare the variables. They don't have to put in all those semicolons. You can really code pretty fast in this language. All right, and then let's go ahead and just print this out. And you use the print function. And in this case, we're just going to print out that x variable. That's all we're going to do. And then let's go ahead and run this. And you can just right click on the scratch.py. You run it. And there you can see it printed out our variable, which again is a string variable. And here it will let you know if there's an error. In this case, an exit code of zero was returned, so we know our code was successful. Now, comments in Python are also very easy. You just use the hashtag. So we can say here, this is a string variable. And this will not affect our code in any way. And you don't even have to end it here. So everything after this hashtag on this line will be a comment. And let's just make sure it's still working. We'll go ahead and run this again. Right click and run. And there you can see our code is just fine with our comment. So that's how you do a comment in Python. Now let's actually go ahead and do an integer now. So let's say x equals 10. And then let's go ahead and do another int. So we'll do a y. We'll name that the variable. And we'll say this equals 20. And then let's go ahead and just add these together. Do a very simple add. There we go. And we'll go ahead and run this. And there you can see it worked just fine. Now, there's also a shorthand that you can do in Python. We can do this much quicker, actually. You could actually go ahead and create both the variables on one line. So let's go x, y. And then you can assign two values to this as well. And we'll do 10 and 20. And let's go ahead and get rid of this line. So notice here you just put a comma. OK, that's all you need to do. So we separate the two variables, and then we separate the two values. And then we'll go ahead and rerun this. And you see we got the correct total here, which is 30. Now, what if you just wanted to print out these two variables and not add them? Well, that's pretty simple. We just get rid of the addition sign here. We put in a comma. And then we'll go ahead and rerun the code. And there you can see now we just got the two variables printed out. Now, we could also make this y here a string variable. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just say string. How about that? Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and rerun this. And hopefully this all works. And it did. Now, what you cannot do is try to add these together, right? That's not going to work. You can't add a string and a int. That's just not going to work. But let's try it anyways. And it should throw an error because that is not allowed. They have to be the same data type. So let's go ahead and run this. And I think it's going to throw an error, as I said. Yep, it did. Unsupported operand type right here. You can't do, and basically it's saying what I just said. You can't do an int and a string. That just is not going to work. OK, so that is a good start with Python variables. And now you know some of the differences in terms of how they are declared and assigned in Python versus other languages like Java. Now, obviously, we're going to be doing a lot more with variables throughout this series, but this is a good primer. OK, see you guys in the next video. Thank you.